Um, that's it. That's it. Um, just real quick, I don't know if you guys were made aware, um, it's been I heard about this last week, but there's a uh, House Bill 488 that's uh, being proposed down in Columbus. Um, it was about uh, Ohio guardianship laws update, but also there's been a provision that's, in my opinion, unrelated to what the proposal was, granting judges the authority to hire their own lawyers without approval from the prosecutor and uh, commissioners. Um, I think um, I've talked, I've already talked to a, a couple other uh, state representatives who are confused by this or questioning this, and I think that we need to, as a board, um, I would propose, Jerry, you writing a letter on our behalf um, expressing our concern on that proposal. I have I started know. one. Have you? Yeah. Okay. They, uh, the one thing is that that bill is still in the committee. Okay. And they're done for the, they're out on their recess okay. for right now, so it wasn't quite as rushed to get it done. Okay. Get it to you, but, uh, I didn't but know yeah, where they were it, in it's the still process. Sitting okay. 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 Maybe if you could also, I think um, CCAO has been made aware also on yes. behalf of the commissioners throughout the and state of Ohio. And John Lights did present testimony at the last hearing against it. So. Okay. And then I believe also the Prosecutors Association <coughs> has been made aware and yes. is also they're in also opposition. In opposition. Okay. okay. The overall bill they're not in opposition to. It's the amendment or the addition of mm -hmm. the giving the judge the, the judges the opportunity to be able to hire their own. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it appears that this is being written for the express purpose of allowing a certain judge to circumvent the checks and balances that it were put in place for the, the taxpayers in this um, county and in this state to have a say in this. You know, if um, if if it's not going to come before either say the prosecutor's approval or the commissioner's approval for, and we're not saying that you are denying anybody legal counsel, but we have a, a role to play in keeping check of the cost is what really I, I see our purpose. Is. Yes. But to um, eliminate that is just, uh, um, again, I think it's overreach. So um, I, you know, whatever we can do to help put that letter together for you, I, I'd like to make a motion for us to do that. And so it's on the record that um, the Jog County Commissioners are in opposition to that. Okay. So I made. We have a motion. Second. second. On that. I'll move. Uh, so move. Okay. Who made, who made the motion? I did. Okay. Or I'll second it then. Yeah. Okay. Hi. And Commissioner Suarez, Commissioner Lund. Yes. And Commissioner Yes, and I totally agree that uh, you know the judges have uh, you know unlimited funds, and this would really trigger more judges to. Uh, Act against the county commissioners and all the counties in the state of Ohio. So I, I, I agree with Tim wholeheartedly. Right. There's always the argument of the separation of powers, but when they talk about the separation of powers, they forget the checks and balances part of that. That's too. right. Yeah. I mean, it's not a one-way street. Right. It's, it, it's a give and take both both ways. So very good. That's all I got. Is there uh, anybody with public comment out there? Uh, you in the front row. Yes, uh, Diane Jones over in Township. Several weeks ago, uh, there was another discussion uh, regarding uh, our current litigation, ongoing litigation uh, concerning two different departments, uh, judicial and uh, auditor. And uh, the, the suggestion was made by one of the commissioners to get a, uh, uh, a spreadsheet concerning total expenses. Has that been completed? I, I don't believe it's been completed, but um, I'm looking into it. I'm trying to get the how, you know, this right. goes back pretty well, far, but I, I, I think, think over the last, the last five years. Six, five, six years. Yeah. 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 So uh, when. Um, I should, hopefully, I'll have something um, this week that I'd be able to. Okay, so will that be under discussion again then? Sure. Uh, I'd, I'd be happy to, form? you know, once we verify it, and, you know, we can talk about it in the next meeting. Okay, but mm -hmm. it would it would be discussion in in public then. Yeah, okay. sure. Thank you for mm -hmm. that clarification. Okay.